a Philip Burton Public Service Award winner of her own. Ladies and gentlemen, Roseanne. Thank you. God, isn't this wonderful? I love this event. God, this is just it's so nice. What Herb said about um, the consumer, the FTCR is so absolutely true. I'm, I've got the honor of uh, presenting the award for Sheila tonight. And if I could sing it, I would. But um, Joan Baez is here with us tonight, so maybe she'll sing at some point in time. Hopefully she'll sing a song for Sheila. And Sheila, I swear, if I could, I'd sing it for you. At any rate, um, Barbara Boxer may be running against Arnold Schwarzenegger. And if you recall, Arnold Schwarzenegger said he was going to kick the nurse's butt. Remember that? And I think these women showed that governor that the shoe was on the other foot. And when Barbara Boxer runs for office, the nurses will be there for Barbara Boxer to make sure. Tonight, it really is an honor. Uh, I, I am just like, I literally, I, I, I won this award, and I was honored then. But, you know, when um, they asked me to present to Sheila, I swear, I just, like, I'm just overwhelmed. I love Sheila. I think the nurses all love Sheila. The nurses just love Sheila. Everybody loves Sheila. And we love Sheila because she's rewritten the book on public service. At a time when too many politicians see their top priority as reelected, as, as they're getting reelected, pleasing wealthy donors, are building their resume to go to work as a corporate lobbyist, there's Sheila Kuehl. While some in Sacramento are more interested in accommodating Arnold Schwarzenegger or the insurance industry than advocating for the public, we count on Sheila Kuehl. For the past decade, California patients, consumers, working people, and nurses have been able to count on Sheila Kuehl fighting for us. Because she is who she is, we can count on Sheila for, things that, for everything that's decent and everything that takes courage. We count on her to stand up to the big insurance dr and drug companies, and that's not easy. That's often not easy. We count on her to advocate for basic, democratic human rights for everyone. And we count on her to refuse to compromise on patient and public safety. One, what it, I, I don't know how many, everyone here has to say, is it not an honor to know Sheila Kuehl? I mean, it just is fundamentally an honor. It just is. And you know, she's just... Your contribution, Sheila, as a legislator and an activist as an, and an advocate are just almost immeasurable. In, the, in this week, this incredible week, that will be long remembered for the landmark ruling in the state, of, the state Supreme Court of California, we all owe a debt to Sheila for her tireless effort for equality and human rights for all of us. In her 13 years in the legislature, Sheila Kuehl has authored some of the nation's and state's most important health care and workplace rights law, and many of you have worked on these, including establishing pay, paid family leave, promoting equal opportunity employment, preserving and protecting against disability discrimination, protecting employees against sexual harassment. And she was ahead of her time, as usual, in making the fair, the disgraceful, mandatory arbitration clauses used by insurance companies to deny care to patients. Sheila, on behalf of the nurses and consumers and consumer advocates, patients everywhere, there's two particular pieces of legislation lately that have been quite remarkable. When, when California patients were dialing 911 from their hospital beds because hospital corporations had cut safe staffing to the bone, Sheila Kuehl was there for the patients and the nurses. She joined up with us as the author of the, of the nurse to patient ratio bill, stood up to the insurance industry, the hospitals, and there was an enormous pressure to compromise, but Sheila held her ground as always. And the results today are world renowned. That law has become known around the world. And nurses and patients everywhere, thank you for that, Sheila.
Nurses are here tonight, and they're back at the bedside where they rightfully belonged. And that law is the model for the nation. But Sheila didn't stop there, and you saw this in a clip. She took even bigger targets in her bold advocacy for real health care reform with SB 840 to enact a single-payer health care system in California. And when many in the legislature, the insurance industry, the media, and even some supposed consumer advocates, not anybody here, of course, tried to beat her down and going, and going against the sham reform, once again, Sheila, as always, held her ground. And each of us in this room has been proud and honored to work with you, Sheila, and the work is not done. And make no mistakes, we're there for you. We'll have real reform, we'll have real single-payer health care reform. And in fact, we're embarked upon a, a campaign, a legislative override. So when Arnold Schwarzenegger vetoes universal health care, we plan on electing the right legislators and overriding him this time so we can honor Sheila with recognizing that bill. <laughs> Sheila, finally, you've been our hope and our inspiration. And you've been the inspiration for so many people for a better world. It's just, it's such an honor. It is just such an honor and privilege that I get to present this award to you. And everybody, we can recognize now the Honorable State Senator Sheila Kuehl.